This is Brother Chip Roy. I've been on the road for a while. I'm getting ready to leave Missouri today. I hate to do it, but I have to get back to Virginia. I got two or three things I gotta take care of. I just pray God will help me get these business matters taken care of ASAP because once I do, I plan to hit the road again. So just keep me in prayer. Now I'm gonna read uh, this these two verses. 1 John chapter 5, 14 and 15. This is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he heareth us, hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day. Thank you, Father, for this message. Help each and every person who hear this to be helped and blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm not going to try being too long. I'm just doing a little meditation on 1 John chapter 4 and 5. There's a lot of verses I like dealing with prayer. Jeremiah 33.3, 3, Call unto me and I'll answer thee and show thee great my things, which I'll know it's not. Philippians 4.13, I mean Philippians 4. 6 and 7, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God, the peace of God, which you pass upon us, then shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Ask and it shall be given, Matthew chapter 7, 6, 7 and 8. Ask and it shall be given, you seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. He that seeketh shall find, and to him that is knocketh, it shall be opened unto you. But I like this one best, and here's why. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. How do I know what is God's will? Let's get, I'll tell you how you know, get in the Bible. I believe it's God's will for everybody to be saved. So when you pray for a sinner, to be saved, it's time you know you're praying within the will of God. Amen. That's God's will for you to be saved. If you're a sinner or a backslider, time now to ask you to repent of your sin and by faith receive Jesus. That's God's will for him to save you, that you be born again, according to John chapter 3. Also, I believe it's God's will for all who are saved. Have the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria, and to the othermost parts of the earth. <clears throat> I believe it's God's will for that. Amen. And I believe there's some things you can count on because of the laws. It's a law for you to have insurance on the vehicle. <coughs> if you have a, get a new insurance company and don't have the money, you can pray and trust God that he'll send you the money and send you to the right place. I believe that. Amen. If you're having, you know, like I say, getting behind on bills, I believe God will help you get above them. Just be sure that you're a giver. Amen. A tither and a giver. That's found Philippians chapter 4, uh, 14 to 19. <clears throat> but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. <clears throat> I'll tell you, there's a lot of things that's God's will. Of course, there's things that's not God's will. I don't believe it's God's will for you to commit fornication or adultery or homosexual acts. All of them are forbidden and called an abomination in the scripture. You don't even have to pray about that. Amen. If you're put in a situation like jo Joseph, the only thing you need to be praying for, God will give you the feet to run. Come on, away from that situation as much as you can. Amen. But this morning, I believe we can have our prayers answered. I don't know what you're praying about today, but if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, 
whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have desired of him. What do you need? Do you need healing? He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. Chastised our peace was upon him. With his stripes we are healed. Do you need uh, peace? Once again, Philippians chapter 4, 6 and 7 says, Be careful for nothing, but everything by prayer and supplication and thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God. Which pass of understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Psalm 23, verse 3. He restoreth my soul. <clears throat> Amen. John chapter 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace give I unto you. Not as the world give, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Man tries work getting peace, giving peace by ending war. You know, I think God does it better. He give, He gives peace even in the midst of war. So anyway, this morning, whatever you're facing, remember this verse today. And this is the first John chapter 5, 14 and 15. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask Anything according to his will, he heareth us. We know that he heareth us. So we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have desired of him. God bless you.